of what happens with this instrument now is that this instrument, become, instrument becomes an instrument that we solo on. Where does soloing come from? Improvisation introduced through jazz music. I went to school at the great Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Um, and I went there with this instrument. Only this instrument. I did not play another instrument proficient, as proficiently as I play this instrument. And so the fusion of these cultures becomes, I am playing, taking this instrument and playing jazz music. I am taking this instrument and playing R&B music. Whatever music is there, I am trained as a musician, but this is my media. The next thing that I'm going to play for you, um, a lot of the old steel bands in Trinidad actually were doing this when they first started. They took things that were on Broadway, Rogers and Hammerstein, you might know this song, I'm not going to introduce it, I'm just going to play it with What you're going to hear is a whole steel band playing, I'm going to play with the steel band right now. So anybody know the name of that song? Yeah. My favorite thing is Rodgers and Hammerstein, right? Yeah. So the future of the music industry in the Caribbean is this. Um, one aspect of it is the steel pen. We use this, like I said, as an educational tool now. It has been taken all over the world. Uh, any, if you go online, you can see it from Japan all the way over to the west coast of the United States. In every country, in every continent, it's the, well, not every continent, maybe not in Texas, but <laughs> it might get there soon. Um, and the other things that we fuse these musics into, we've been hearing a lot on the radio. I know you guys have been hearing the sound. There's a thing called now, they coined it Tropical House. This is about the third iteration of the Caribbean music coming into the United States. So the first iteration would have been um, Harry Belafonte, Deo, when Maya Angelou was singing Calypso of here, that's the first iteration. The second iteration comes around the 1990s, where you have the Sean Pauls and the Beanie Mans and all of those people bringing the reggae in. And now it's about the third iteration. Now my generation is taking it up. You'll hear some from DJ Clean later. But the music business is changing, and it's because there's a lot of Caribbean Americans or Caribbean uh, generation of people all over the all over the world infusing our sound into the production that's happening. So Tropical House is now a new thing that's coming up. You hear some uh, popular names like Omarion and Justin Bieber and Sia and all these things. You hear this kind of beat underneath. This underpinning of those songs are either uh, reggaeton, reggae, dance hall or soca, but nobody really knows what the, no, ne, the misnomers of these things are because they all, for the past 50 years or so, have been pinned under reggae, but there's so much more um, there. Also, Carnival has been um, produced as an export now. Uh, first it was just tourism. You guys come to my island and experience my island, get on a plane, get on a trip, come over to us, now we're coming to you. 
every in all, every major city in America where there are Caribbean people, there is a carnival. There is a carnival. There's one in Atlanta. There's one that just start, started over in Hollywood. Excuse me. There's one in New York. There's one in, in there was one a big one in D.C. that's now been moved to Baltimore. Um, there's one everywhere in Florida. Wherever there's Caribbean people, that's what it is. And with these things come the dances and the tradition and the steel pan and the music and the reggae. And that's how we're fusing all of our lives together. We're bringing as the second and third generation Caribbean people to the United States and bringing it here with us and keeping our culture alive. So, with that note, because we have to transition over, I'm going to leave you with another arrangement I did of a popular soca song that's out right now that fuses, this is the last iteration of uh, soca music, it's been fusing Afro beats. So we're going back to Africa and pulling these West African beats and putting it in the Caribbean beats and it's all one big melting pot. So enjoy Oye by Ola Tunji, Yearwood, on Steel Pan, or enjoy myself, it's played by Pan Lara and enjoy the rest of the presentation. My name is Candace Shepard, thank you for having me. Hello, hello. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, round of applause. So we're about to commence with our next group. Right now, they'll be representing...